There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me, O oh Lord, I pray. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Hired Hands Hymn Time Show. Half hour of your favorite gospel song. There will be peace in the valley for me. This morning's program is brought to you by Babcock Motors, 2307 Main Street. Hi, everybody. Johnny Evans, along with the Hired Hands, our special guest this morning, the Men of Melody, and, of course, the Three Sisters with us. We hope you enjoy our 30 minutes of gospel singing as we begin with a quartet singing one of your favorites and my favorites, the Old Rugged Cross. Quartet and the old rugged cross. We'd like to remind you once again that the men of Melody from West Columbia will be our guest on this morning's show. We have uh, dedications going out this morning, so we want you to stay tuned for that. Right now, here are the Resisters to sing for us, as only they can. By the way, Joel Johnson's still playing at the piano for us here on our show. Here are the Resisters, and just one rose will do. Work is through. Don't 
fine song by the Reese sisters, Just One Rose Will Do. Well, at the beginning of our show this morning, we told you that the Hymn Time Show is brought to you by Babcock Motors at 2307 Main Street. And there in itself is quite a story. We want to introduce to you Huck Babcock, owner of Babcock Motors, who has come Thank down you. with us. Hi, Huck. Good evening. And it's a pleasure to have Babcock on our Hymn Time Show. It's a pleasure to be here. A pleasure to bring you the high at hand Sunday morning show. Well, Huck, I know that most of the folks are familiar with Babcock Motors, but for those who are not, we'd like to uh, get into some of the background of Babcock Motors. And first of all, if you're looking for a car, what kind of car can you find at Babcock Motors? Almost any kind. I've got everything you can think of from a 60 on down through a 43 or 44 which is no such thing, so we've just got everything. <laughs> You've got everything. That's well, right. now, when a person has everything, there must be some place he gets them. Where does your car come from? All of our cars are local cars. I don't go up the road to Yankee Land and no buy Yankee any no-salt-eating Yankee cars. Local, South Carolina, good, solid, plain automobiles. Uh, no termites in them at all. No termites, none at all. <laughs> Which means rust, really. Right. I've seen those kind of cars, really. Oh, I've seen them. You could jump a rabbit right through the fender and never scratch his hide. <laughs> Huck, there's a reason that you don't do that, because uh, the reason is that you want satisfied customers, and a customer can't be satisfied well, with anything like that. we operate on a real small profit, and I got to sell a customer four or five times to make any money, yeah. so I got to keep him happy. Right. Well, you th you, you're speaking of low profit. Where did you get the price on this well, car that we're standing by here? Huck, if you'll this, stand over there and just describe this beautiful automobile for us. This is a 1959 Chevrolet Impala, two-door hard top. It's a beautiful automobile. V8, of course, automatic, power steering, power brakes. Look at it. White wall tires. This is typical of the kind of cars that we have at 2307. Main Street. This car can be had tomorrow, Monday, for the special low price of fourteen ninety-five. Huck, uh, you just said that you sell cars uh, for a small profit, and I can see that, that you've correct. got a small profit there. Well, Huck, there are other cars. You've got how many offhand right We've now? We've got close to a hundred. We've got cars. plenty of fifty-five and fifty-six Fords, Chevrolets, Plymouths, Mercury's. We even got a few Packards. Fine. We'll see another one later, but you can Come see them see all us. at 2307 Main Street, and that is Babcock Motors. Huck will be back with us in just a moment, but right now we want to introduce our guest, and to do that, here's Pappy Sherrill. Thank you, Johnny. Continuing right along this morning, we're glad all you neighbors are tuned in looking at us on TV, and we hope we're singing some of your favorite hymns. This is all hymn program, and we've had so many fine compliments about this program. We're certainly glad you like it. And we urge you to write us a card or letter. If you'd like to hear the Reese sisters sing your favorite song, why do so, or the Hired Hands Quartet, 
or a duet, a solo, whatever it might be, we'd be certainly happy to try to include it on one of our future programs. Just a couple of weeks ago, we were certainly privileged to have the fine Men of Melody Quartet from Columbia. They're a fine bunch of fellows, and we think they're the finest in quartet singing. And uh, we certainly want you to write to them and tell them how well you like their fine quartet. We have a couple requests we'd like to acknowledge here, and then we're going to pass you along, pass it along to those boys to really render a fine hymn. We want to do a number for Carolyn Wanamaker, Henry, and Shirley Monday, also for Mrs. Bessie Knight. This was requested by her daughter, Barbara, Jane, and Daisy, and Sandy. And right now, we want Earl Outlaw to tell you about the first song they're going to sing for you, The Mental Melody. All right, Earl, let's hear from you. Uh, Johnny, before we sing that first song, I'd like to tell you where we're going to be, or Pap, excuse me, Pap. Uh, <clears throat> the Mental Melody is going to appear at the Congaree Elementary School Saturday night, uh, November the 17th at 8 o'clock for about two hours of good gospel singing. And if you want to hear it, just come on out. It won't cost you a dime. Now the men of Melody would love to sing for you the old song, Just a Little While. All right. Soon this life will all be over and our pilgrimage will end. Soon we'll make a heavenly journey, be at home again with friends. Heaven's gates are standing open, waiting for there. Some sweet day we're going over, all of heaven's joys to share. Just a little while to stay here, stay here, just a little while to wait. Just a little while to labor, in the path that's always straight, that's always straight and narrow. Just a little more of trouble, in this low and sinful state. Melody from West Columbia. That's duet time, a fine song called I'll Fly Away, and Ira, I believe you have a couple of dedications on this. Yeah, I'd like to do this with some girls uh, here in uh, town around on Barnwell Street, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Chavis, Mrs. Livingston, Mrs. Sullivan, uh, Mrs. McDowell, and Mrs. Phillips, and Mrs. Manning. They say they love the hymn program, and we'd like to do this one especially for them. life is old, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. Hallelujah. 
just by and by I fly away Thank you very much, fellows. I'll fly away. It's Hired Hands Quartet time now, and we want to make dedications on this. Uh, wedding anniversaries for Mr. and Mrs. H.L. Bryant, Mr. and Mrs. Tommy Bryant, and Mr. and Mrs. J.L. Lee of Great Falls. All those folks celebrating wedding anniversaries. We also have a request from Henry and Shirley Mundy, and Mr. and Mrs. Grady Duval of Summit. Snuffy? You have to brief me You don't me know now. where Summit's at. I'm not quite sure. I, <laughs> I know there's Somerville and there's Summerton, but where is Summer, Summit? Summit? You, uh, you know where uh, Gilbert is? Yeah, I know where Gilbert well, is. Well, it ain't there. I didn't think so. <laughs> no, it, it ain't far away, though. It's right close by Gilbert. Just across the Summit? Yeah, hmm. just across the Summit. And that's where. How many people live in Summit? Uh, there's, there's 14 last time I was there. <laughs> 14. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope that all 14 of them are listening. Yeah, I do, too. Watching this morning. <laughs> Uh, we're not getting near enough mail on this year's Sunday program. We want to hear from a lot more of them out there, don't we? That's right. Faye's got to write us again. You know, she was the first to write. Yeah. Uh, the first letter we got on this Sunday show came from Faye, and Willie has that framed. And we want more mail from Faye and everybody else, right? Let's let them sing. Let's not talk too much. All right. This is, uh, I guess, the song we get most requests for, How Great Thou Art. <laughs> with the boys in just a moment, but uh, we want to talk to Huck Babcock once again from Babcock Motors about used cars. And we're standing between two of the hottest used cars that you can find on anybody's market, a 57 and a 47. I'll tell you, when you get to a 57 Chevrolet, you are looking at a car 
that is the most in demand of any used car on the American market. This one is a straight drive gas saver. It's a six cylinder, 1957, a real nice car, one that has low maintenance, easy to keep up, one that you can drive three or four years and still have a good trade-in value. Now, uh, I made a mistake. I said 50, 47. I meant 59. This is yeah. 59. Your this 59s is and your 57s are two real good items. Well, now, we've got two right here. This one's 895, and, of course, the one we looked at before, the 59 is 1495. And I but know this, how you do it, Huck. Well, this car will be on special tomorrow, Monday morning, and not just this one. I've got a number of them just as nice, and they'll all be on special. You can take your pick now, at 895. Can I ask you a question about financing? It's so easy to buy a car up there at my place at 2307 Main. All you have to do is just come in and sit down. I got a big stack of separation papers. That's to separate you from your money. <laughs> well, we'll be glad to know that. And we'll I, be there first thing Monday morning for that. I've got on-the-spot financing. We are just friendly, home, country people. We treat you like your real close friends, even though we never saw you before. Huck, there's one thing left, and I want to find this out. When you, when you say recondition now, you mean inside and out, all the way. We try to get a car in good shape. Sometimes we might make a little mistake, but we try to sell good, solid cars that have been completely reconditioned. Not just outside, but through and through. Good, solid automobiles. And the ones we see here this morning will bear that out. Huck, we'll see you again next Thank Sunday you. morning with some more of your fine specials. Huck Babcock from Babcock Motors. And right now, here are the Reese sisters to sing for us, Mansion on a Hilltop. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below, a little silver and a little gold. I want a gold one that's silvery line. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow. Thank you very much, girls. The Reese sisters singing for us, Mansion on a Hilltop. It's guest time once again. Before we bring on the men of Melody once more, uh, we'd like to invite all of you quartets and groups, and there are many who have been, con uh, been in contact with us, and we'll be getting back in contact with you shortly to let you know when we'll work out an appearance for you here on the show. But if you have quartets in the area and you'd like for them to get on our program, just write to the Hired Hand Sunday Show. Be sure to 
uh, make it the Sunday show, the Hymn Time show, and we'll be getting in touch with you. Our Men of Melody from West Columbia and Hide Me, Rock of Ages. Fellows, this morning's program of our hymn time with the hired hands has been brought to you by Babcock Motors at 2307 Main Street, and that is Babcock Motors. In the morning when I die, hallelujahs by and by, I'll 